Today on Trendmaker, we're going to take our 3D prints to the next level. We're going to take our top layers from looking like this to this with a simple setting in Cura called ironing. All that is coming up right now. Let's go in here and talk a little bit about what ironing is. Okay, so ironing is basically a setting that Cura will allow after you've done your normal layer lines, like we're showing here, that it'll come back and it'll actually do what's a skim coat with just a small portion of plastic being added, so 10 to 15%. And it'll actually be able to run all the way up to the edges or whatever perimeter that we decide, okay? So whatever inset we decide. And it'll just wipe back and forth. And then as it's overlapping, the nozzle is creating basically an ironing surface and it's just slowly moving across, uh, wiping and adding, the filament down to create a nice smooth surface. Now that we know what ironing is, let's go in and adjust our Cura settings. Okay, so first thing we need to do is go to the setting here, which is going to give us the option of basic, advanced, or expert. And let's go ahead and put this on the expert setting. All right, and we'll scroll down and you see we're doing this at 0.2 millimeters, 0.4 nozzle. We're going to do three wall count five top layers, five bottom layers. All right, and we're gonna go down to this section right here that says enable ironing, okay? And we're just gonna click yes. Okay, now you have the option here that you can iron only the highest layer, which would just basically do the top of the print. But in this case, we actually have three layers there. So we're gonna leave it with it not checked. We want it to iron all of the flat surfaces. But uh, maybe you have a print that you don't care about the middle or any of the other portions, you just want the top to look nice. So that would be what you'd set that for. Okay, so we're gonna disable that. We wanna iron all the flat surfaces. Now you'll have an option here for the ironing pattern. Now zigzag is basically gonna just gonna create a line and just gonna go back and forth, wiping across from one side of the print to the other. And that is the format that I think looks best. You can do concentric and that'll basically start on the outer perimeters and slowly work its way toward the center. The ironing line spacing is basically how far the nozzle on each pass will scoot over to one direction. Okay, so basically if the nozzle is 0.4, we're basically doing half of that. So basically it'll overlap and it's continually overlapping halfway as we're going along the nozzle. And then we have flow. Now I do think uh, 10 to 15% is seems to be ideal, at least with my printers. You may try a little higher, you may try a little lower, but you want to at least keep 10%. You do want the extruder constantly flowing. If it's sitting in one space too long without flowing on the nozzle, you can potentially create a clog. Okay, and then ironing inset, that's basically at up to what point on the edge, it'll be inset from the edge that amount. So we're basically skimming right up to the edge. You don't want to put this at zero because as it's extruding the plastic around, it may leave a little lip or edge on there, which you don't want. Okay, so that's basically the settings. Go ahead and click it, give it a try. Now I'm going to show you here what the 3D prints look like. At this point, I hope you're finding this content useful. If you are, do me a favor, scroll down a little bit and hit that like and subscribe button. That is the feedback that I get that lets me know that the content I'm producing is useful to you. It is really important here that the 3D printer is adjusted properly, nice and tuned, at least mechanically, because you'll never get to get smooth ironing if parts are moving around. It's just not gonna be consistent. You're gonna have high spots, low spots. You're gonna have spots that are nice and clean and some that are not. But what is really important here is also that the nozzle is sitting at a perfect 90 degree angle to the bed surface. That um, brass nozzle, the little tip, the end, is actually the ironing surface. So if it's actually canted a little bit, you're going to notice your top layer is just going to be sort of staggered like roof shingles. So it really is important, sitting 90 degrees, that's actually going to create the ironing surface when it's going over. But th these settings here have done me well. Uh, once I came up with these, I just sort of implement them for all my 3D printers. This works exactly the same on my Ender 3 as it does my S5, my CR10S Pro, um, for this Tornado. All of them work ex almost exactly the same. All right, so these prints are done. This is the one without ironing on, and you can just see the layer lines here. Now, admittedly, this printer is pretty dialed in, and you'll notice it's a, it's a quality print, and my top layers are really not too bad, but there are definitely um, lines that you can see from the nozzle. Okay, there you go. And you can see on the different steps. Now, this is the one with the ironing on, and you can see how, how just smooth that looks right there. It almost looks like the bottom of the print 
but it's actually the top of the print. Just super smooth, all the different layers here. And even up to the very edges, I'm just coming in very lightly to the very edge. So if you go a little too far, you're actually gonna overhang and you're gonna get like a little ridge here. Just having that nozzle just in a little bit, inset just a little bit on the edge, just will bring it right to the line. And you can see how just super clean that looks compared to this one. All right, well that pretty much wraps up this video on ironing settings in Cura. It's definitely a nice and easy way to get a little bit more finished look out of your prints. If you have any questions on ironing settings or any other 3D printing question, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. I do try to get back to people within about 24 hours. Um, and if you haven't done it already, Go ahead, like and subscribe down below. You know it totally blows my mind. It keeps me super excited to produce more content for you. But until that next video, I'm out.